The decision to declare dividends rests with the board of directors. Whether a dividend is paid in cash or stock, it results in a decrease in retained earnings. When the board of directors decides to announce a dividend, the dividend announcement includes the date of declaration, the date of record, and the date of payment. The date of declaration is the date that the board of directors formally authorizes the dividend payment. When the dividend is declared, the corporation recognizes the dividend as a liability. The date of record is the date on which the corporation will determine which stockholders will receive dividends. Anyone who acquires shares of stock after the date of declaration but before the date of record will receive an immediate dividend. For this reason, stock on which a dividend has been declared sells at a higher price leading up to the date of record, which acts as a cutoff date. If stock is sold after the date of record, the previous owner, not the new owner, will receive that dividend. The date of payment is the date the corporation will actually pay the dividends to the stockholders. A cash dividend is a distribution of the corporation's earnings in the form of cash. This means that the company must have a sufficient balance in the retained earnings account as well as in the cash account. If a corporation has sufficient retained earnings but not enough cash, the dividend cannot be paid in cash. Suppose that the board of directors of company ABC declares a cash dividend of $42,500 on October 1st. The date of record is November 1st, and the date of payment is December 1st. The dividend is recorded as an expense, a debit, on the date of declaration. On that same date, it becomes a liability in the company's books. On the date of record, no journal entry is necessary. On the date of payment, December 1st, the journal entry would include a debit to dividends payable, the liability account, and a credit to cash to show that the payment was made. A stock dividend is a payment of dividends in the form of additional stock. To declare a stock dividend, the company must have sufficient retained earnings. However, because cash is not being distributed, there is no need for a sufficient cash balance. Suppose the board of directors of company ABC declares a stock dividend. The dividend will be paid by issuing 2,500 additional $10 par common shares which at the time of declaration have a value of $15 each. The dividend is declared on October 1st. The date of record is November 1st. And the date of payment is December 1st. On October 1st, the date of declaration, the company recognizes the dividend expense, a debit, and the corresponding liability. Note that the dividend expense is the value of each share, $15, times the number of new shares to be issued. However, the liability is being divided in two parts, the first $10 for the par amount and the remaining $5 for the amount in excess of par. This is essentially the same way the new shares will be recorded in the equity section of the balance sheet once the dividend is paid. On the date of record, no journal entry is necessary. On the date of payment, both liability accounts are reversed and converted into common stock par and common stock paid in capital in excess of par. The stock dividend does not change any section of the balance sheet. It simply converted $37,500 of retained earnings, an equity account, into $37,500 of common stock, another equity account. A stock dividend also does not change the proportional share of a stockholder's ownership. For example, if a stockholder owns 1,000 shares of the company's 10,000 outstanding shares, his or her 10% ownership would not be altered by a 5% stock dividend, because each shareholder is receiving the same 5%, and therefore everyone's percentage of ownership is the same before and after the stock dividend.